Niner fans are a little stressing, a little stressed about about Trey Lance. Admit it. His completion percentage is pretty low. He had a bad day today. And I think a lot of Jimmy Garoppolo fans are laughing. And a lot of fans in general are wondering, did the Niners make the right decision? And should they pivot and go back to Jimmy Garoppolo? Well, they haven't so far, which sort of indicates how they feel about Trey Lance and Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, it indicates that they think Trey Lance gives them the best chance to win, despite the fact that he's completing less, a lower percentage of passes than Jimmy did last year in camp. Why do you think they feel that way? I, I think, I think it's a couple of things. Like Lance obviously has a bigger upside, right? So like Lance is here, but the expectation is that he's not going to be here at the, at the end of the season or even at the end of training camp. Right? Like, so he's going to, he's going to keep continuing evolving with with jimmy even how old how old is jimmy when the niners got him 27. at that point like in your career you pretty much you are what you pretty much you are what you are right like yeah. and lance is young even young for for a rookie for second year player isn't he like he's 20 it's like he's a rookie it's like his age wise he's like he's a rookie this year yeah um so there's there's that too and then he's we've talked about this a million times about the elements of the game that he that he brings right like so if he brings those if he brings those things it should take it even if his completion percentage is is a little lower it should make up for those differences right so um i, I think there his his big thing is upside like you if you look in the nfl you can't you can't go to where you want to go unless you have a, a quarterback that can make plays like jimmy's not a quarterback that can make plays he he can kind of he can execute some stuff here and there but you can't put the ball in the same like, hey, Jimmy, go make it happen. Right. But, I mean, last year he had the upside too. But the Niners stuck with Jimmy because, theoretically, they felt like Lance wasn't ready and Jimmy gave him the, the best chance to win. Some people might argue Lance still isn't ready and Jimmy still gives him the best chance to win. But now, all of a sudden, the Niners disagree with that. And I disagree with it too. I think that even though his completion percentage is lower, he gives the Niners a better chance to win. Now, remember, I'm comparing him to Jimmy, who's still on the team and could come back any moment if they felt they needed him. He had an awful camp last year. He completed 63% of his passes against an elite defense, which is impressive. But he threw a ton of picks, 11. And the way he threw, completed those passes was he threw a ton of passes to running backs and tight ends. In, I quick. That's not what Trey Lance is doing. He's trying to push the ball down the field and extend plays. Jimmy Garoppolo was trying to get the ball out of his hands as quickly as possible in the flat. Sometimes he would throw the ball to Debo. Say he didn't really throw the ball to Ayuk at all. So, I mean, it's just a whole different shot chart passing chart and, and the defense is different too yeah i was just gonna say that too like it, the defense this year is not the same as defense last year like i know there's a couple there's a couple players but how they're playing is also from what i'm not there right but yes. from what i from what i understand it's a lot different they're playing much more man much more press man which is gonna bring even i, I have a feeling if jimmy garoppolo is practicing right now his completion percentage would be lower because they're Thank taking you. they're taking those away now that's not to say I think his completion percentage would probably be higher than Trey Lance's because I think I think there's two things that are going on here. I think it's defense, and I think it's also Trey Lance. There is he, there is some real accuracy issues here. But, also, with the depth of target, partially. I mean, Trey yeah. Lance is pushing the ball much further down the field. Those are yeah. There's that, there's that. There's that as well. But I think yeah. I think we have to come to grips with that. He's he's having accuracy issues. So like there there is that. There's the defense, and there's and there's the depth, and there's the depth. Like he's He's taking much more uh, big shots down the field, but he is having accuracy issues, right? In, in the short inter intermediate, but I think also uh, it's a those throws are a lot more difficult. I feel, like, I feel like he is sometimes like he misses some throws, but Jimmy did too. What I, there's a lot of PBUs contested catches. There's very little separation on this field right now, so it's a lot of like, well, he gave Ayuk a chance. Oh my God, Ayuk made an amazing catch. Oh wow, Traverius Ward not like it's a lot of that, and. I, like in the past, especially when Salah was the DC, there were a lot of um, there was a lot of off coverage and a lot of like easy completions to be had all over the field. There was a game where they gave up eighty five percent completions to Mitchell Trubisky and the Bears, and Salah was like, "I don't care. They didn't have any big plays on us. Just all he cared about was no big plays." D'Amico's kind of the opposite. He's like daring the Niners to to try to get big plays on him, and they're taking away the slants, uh, playing that press man coverage. So you're getting a lot of fades, um, deep outs, digs, just longer developing routes. But and you but you can get you can get both right so like you like you can you can play man and not play and not play zero and still present the big and you yeah. can make you because 
as we just discussed, the, the, those deep throws are lower percentage throws. So most most defensive coordinators want you to make those throws because they feel like they feel like that's a low percentage throw. Go ahead, throw the deep, go to deep throw. You probably aren't going to hit it. Um, and like when you play man, to me, I like I like man because you you exactly what's happened now. You lower that completion, it throws the whole rhythm of the offense off. Like yes. you can't complete. You really can't. It's diff- It's a lot more difficult to deplete to the complete even deep throws or when your rhythm is off. So th- there's that aspect too. Yeah, I mean, in the past, there were a lot of, like, slants to Debo you could have that were uncontested. Now, like, everything is contested, and I, that, it's a really good defense. And I I feel like that's why maybe this defense has a chance to be the best defense they've had. They don't have Buckner, but the way they play coverage is, to me, like, I was begging Sala to do this stuff. I was like, man, stop giving away these easy completions. And D'Amico is all about that because D'Amico is a big quality control guy. Yeah, let, let me – let me ask you a question. How many how many times have you said like have you looked at like Bosa sat and Bosa said that an almost sack, right? Yeah. Like now That's imagine awesome. if imagine if that quarterback has to hold the ball a little just a tad bit longer. Right. Bosa gets there, right? And that's what we're seeing. I mean, Lance has to hold the ball because there aren't quick throws. Now he could just get the ball turn and fire it to the running back in the flat like Nate Sudfeld does and just say, hey, it's a completion. But I mean, what are you really practicing? Yeah. Like you have to respect the fact that he's practicing throwing all these downfield throws when really <laughs> we're going to talk about it in a minute. Like they're not going to do a whole lot of this during the year. What they're going to do a whole lot of is running the football. They're going to run. They're going to pass the ball as infrequently as possible. Just like with Jimmy. I mean, if they could run the ball 45 times a game, they will just like with Jimmy. The only difference is this guy can actually help the running game as opposed to Jimmy. Who's an observer after he hands off. Yeah. So, I, I think I think they can get away with lower completions percentage if they hit some big explosives and he doesn't turn the ball over. Like that's that's the thing. I think he's got to turn the ball over less than Jimmy, and he and he's got to hit more explosives. And I think overall that'll equal a better. Now he can't go he can't go like two he can't go like a game like you know four for four for twenty. <laughs> like no, you know, no. But I don't expect that. Like we saw him have a great game against the Houston. Yeah, yeah right. We saw it happen. And so what's different? Well, in, in these practices, he's throwing passes to Tyler Croft and guys who aren't going to be getting targets during the season. He has Justin School at left tackle. He has Cole McKivitz at right tackle. Like, during the season, most games, he's going to have Kittle, Debo, Trammell. He's going to have everyone. There's going to be a game plan. And – uh they're going to sort of prop him up the way that the Niners propped up Jimmy. You know, they're not right now. It's like, Hey man, you don't have George or Trent or McGlinchey go make some plays against the best defense in the league. Like he's not that good yet. Only a few quarterbacks in the league are Jimmy wasn't, but if you have the whole thing around him, you have a good game plan and you're like, dude, don't worry about it. Like just hit, you know, throw 20 passes today. Can you throw 20 passes? Can you do that? That's what they're going to start him at. And I think he's going to be fine. I think you're going to have a much higher completion. Per- like they've had, I think, one day where George Kittle, uh, Brandon Ayuk, and Debo Samuel have been on the field together, like one or two days. He's not good enough to excel against this defense without all those guys. He's not. Not now. The, that that Vikings joint practice is going to be really interesting. Like, I'm, really, I'm really looking forward to here. That's a more even playing field, right? It should, it should be. Yeah, yeah, and I they mean, don't but, just, yeah. But you're still gonna have legit players out. Like, like they're gonna have to deal with Daniel Hunter if he if he practices that day. Like, so Daniel Hunter is a good pra- good pass rusher. Uh, Her- uh, uh, what's it? I think it's Harris. Uh, forgot the name of the safety. Like, they have a good safety back there. So, like, that's legit players. But I, I don't think anybody that that Vikings defense is the caliber of the 49ers defense. But it's still a legit NFL defense. So that's gonna be a good. That should be a good litmus test. If if Trey Lance's training camp was like really really alarming, Jimmy would be back on the field. I, I know he doesn't want to play for the Niners, but if they're like, look, Jimmy, Trey's not ready. We'll pay you twenty seven million dollars to be our starting quarterback this year. He'll be like, all right, cool. He's not going to go to twenty seven million. Not. <laughs> he's, he's not getting anywhere near that from any other team. So they could always do that. Maybe they will in the future, but they haven't, and I don't think they will. Um, 
again because they're they're trying things in practice right now that they're not going to do a whole lot of in the game like straight drop back deep outs like they did a lot of that today that's very aggressive maybe when he's 25 he'll be really ripping that but right now it's like hand off a lot and do some play action start there start there that's where i mean that's basically what they're going to do and on third down you know he may not be as efficient of a passer as jimmy right away but he can scramble so do that and yesterday when he had trent williams michael glitchy george kittle debo samuel and brandon Ayuk on the field he led the offense down the field play after play touchdown against the number one defense or one of the so he, he could do it it's going to be inconsistent and when you start taking away his supporting cast it's going to look bad so yeah. i i would like to see I'd like to see less picks in, in the practice. That's what I'd, yeah. like I'd like to hear about that. I'd like to hear a lot yeah. less picks. I mean, ideally you'd like to see, you'd also like to see progression, right? Like I'd like to hear different reports next week. Like re it should look better this week coming up week than it was the previous week. Yeah. Now I know yesterday it looked a little better. Today was a little shaky, uh, you know, but overall you'd like to see, you need to see progression. Yes. And I want to I want to point out like um, usually they do more work in the red zone. That's where the touchdowns come from. They did two days out of ten in the red zone, um, which was unusual. So uh, maybe if you're wondering why Trey Lance didn't throw more touchdown passes, it's because they didn't do much work in the red zone. And he's actually he was very good in his two days in the red zone. He should be. I mean, yeah, the previous guy was not really good in, in the red zone. And again, like. I actually think he's having a better I think I think he's having a better camp than Jimmy did last year. Jimmy was just trying to get through the day completing those quick passes to running backs and tight ends and he still threw a bunch of picks. Trey Lance is making plays and he's completing he's making he has he's creating big plays every day. He his first two completions today both went for 20 yards. Then he went 2 for 12 after that. Not great. But every day there's one, two, three long throws. And then yesterday in addition to that there was with the game on the line, six seconds left, he made a play in the red zone to throw a touchdown. I'm like, I've never seen Jimmy Garoppolo do that at any level of football, practice or real game. So the fact that he can do that is a step up. It doesn't mean he's going to be Patrick Mahomes. Right. But it's it's encouraging. So you see glimpses of high-level quarterback play and glimpses of low-level quarterback play for sure. Yeah. That's the thing with Jimmy, though, is like you would see glimpses of low-level quarterback play and then glimpses of mediocre quarterback play. Yeah, <laughs> like, great. Like, yeah great. Yeah. I, I thought that. you were going to say glimpses of low-level quarterback and then you see glimpses of rock-bottom quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> no for dope review says, based on your observations, Trey has been good, dope, six times and not so good, four. 60% uh, dope, under 60% completion percentage for the year. That's what I want. I, I think the completion percentage is going to be a lot higher during the season when they're running more than they pass there's a lot of play action i mean he has completed one screen pass to debo he's going to complete a lot of screen passes to debo during the season you know what i'm saying it's like this they're really pushing the ball down the field during the season they're going to do all the stuff that won them games last year right you know what i mean it's it's like shanahan if shanahan is such a good offense offense corner he's not gonna be like he's not gonna say well screw it i'm just gonna go vanilla this year like we're just gonna no, no. he's He's going to apply himself and he's going to, you know, give Lance easy stuff. Just like Jimmy gave me. You're going to have to figure out a new name. Yes, for I know. But he's still going to come into every game trying to figure out how to run the ball 40 times. Uh, how to minimize the quarterback's impact on the game. I mean, that's what he's been doing for years. He's really good at it. And the thing was like with Jimmy is like, okay, you run the ball 45 times. He literally did nothing in this game. He just handed it off. Trey actually can run too. He can be a threat. If <clears throat> another thing, I think if Burford starts, which looks like he's going to do overall, that yeah. offensive line is going to be more athletic. Could be, could be. Let me get rid of this bot real quick. Block I mean, user. You're going to it just. I think overall that that offense. If if the starters are as is right now, overall that that offensive line is going to have more physical traits. Like because you have um, Aaron Banks who when he. Who can who can maul when he when he wants to, and then Burford's pretty athletic. Is athletic. You know, two young guys there, figure out the center spot. But obviously, Tremel Williams, who Tremel Williams is, Mike McGlinchey is a good run blocking tackle. So I think there's at least in the run game, there's room for improvement. We're gonna take some questions real quick. This is the part where people start giving me money, and I like that part. And I want to tell you, people who just 
donate so I read a, a question on there. It's always it's very flattering. Thank you. For those of you who would do that, I figure you might want to buy something that you can own and keep. And a lot of you have expressed interest in merch, so I've actually learned how to do it. And I've put together a little team and we have some stuff. So if you want, if you're in the mood to spend money right now, I'm just letting you know that it exists. 49ersqcmerch.com. Check it out. There's like t-shirts. There's like, you know, beer koozies and stuff. It's coming. I just wanted to say that. Maybe maybe you should do like, maybe you should do like the reverse instead of, instead of giving them a, a code, maybe they get a code where they could ask you a question and then they don't have to pay for it. Oh, Once I like the that. It's way work. too complicated for me, but I like that. Maybe yeah. someone else can figure that out for me. Guillermo Cepeda says, Grant, for what I understand, last year Lance was accurate on this kind of passes short. What changed? Last year he completed 69% of his passes, but he was going up against a second team defense that had like Embry Thomas and Diamandor Lenore on the field. So there's that. Now he's going up against Traverius Ward and Manuel Mosley, who are, you know, basically kicking Debo's ass right now. And and IU can only really get him half the time. That's that's the difference. Cole Harkey says, will you be the Vikings? Yes, I will be at the Vikings practices. Mason Wright says, you said the hardest place to play is Denver because it's so high up. How much harder will Azteca Stadium be since it's 7,200 feet up? Maybe some Lance Bombs. Harder. I was in Breckenridge, which was like something like that, and just walking upstairs was exhausting. <laughs> they In Breckenridge, which is about that high up, they actually sell um, oxygen canisters at like corner stores. They're like, you know, <laughs> a little extra oxygen. Thank you. Did they, you, didn't you, you said, I remember you talked to Ian Williams. He said the toughest place to play was Denver. That's what Ian Williams said. That's what Ian Williams says. Yeah, that's what he told me. Denver. He says, he said, by the second half, you're exhausted. What? How's Lance's accuracy? I actually think it's not as bad as people say. It's not as bad as the completion percent. The completion percentage is more a, fun, is more a reflection of his depth of target right now. And I think what I'm trying to say is I don't think it's going to be this extreme during the regular season. They're not going to throw this much. They're not going to push the ball down the field this much. Um, they're doing it because I, they don't have a lot of options against this defense right now. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that it'll be this extreme, but I think there's enough there to say that it's going to be lower than probably you would, than you would like. Like, I think there's, or there's yeah. smoke or fire. Like he's not as accurate as, as you'd like. I, I think like, you got to take, you got to take like the extremes. Like you've got the extreme Twitter that it's like, Oh, he's a bust. But then you got other, and then you got extreme Twitter. That's like, Oh no, there's nothing there. Like he's awesome. Like, no, he's not as accurate as you'd like, but neither is Jimmy. You know, Jimmy missed Kyle Juszczyk wide open down the field. Like, I, again, this is nothing new for this. I, I, I don't feel like they're taking a huge step back in anything. Like, yeah, I mean, accuracy's been an issue. I just feel like and, and, and that that could go in. I'm not saying they're going to re-sign him. I don't know that he's going to get a second contract with the Niners. That's a whole different thing. Will he ultimately live up to the trade? I don't know. Is he going to start? Is, yes. Really Should start? Yes. What? Yeah, quarterbacking isn't merely completion percentage. Like no. it's not just it's no. not just that. It's and again, I think if the Niners have this stat, if they calculated yards per attempt in training camp, I would imagine it's pretty similar what Lance is doing now uh, and what Jimmy did last year, just differently. Jimmy threw in, short passes, Lance does long passes. In camp, let me ask you this question so far. Yeah. How many wide open guys has he missed? Trey, yeah, there's they don't have there are no wide open guys. Okay, it's not it, there are no wide. I mean, right, he had Kittle open deep and overthrew him a few, but basically everyone's covered all the time and they make contested catches sometimes because the killers in games, right, were were, were wide open guys where Jimmy yeah. missed them, like Jeff Wilson play. Jr. in Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah, Kai Tunai says, How's Lance's accuracy? I just talked about that. Thanks, sorry about that. Uh, real quick, Eric says, what is Trey's stats in training camp? More on that in a minute. I don't know. I have to I, I tally him up at, on every off day. Um, I'll let you know. Hey, I, I got a question regarding your merch, though. Who's going to sure. be the first person to show up in training camp wearing your merch? That's what I want to see. Yeah. Someone, I, I, I signed an autograph the other day for a kid wearing a Bosa jersey, which was embarrassing. I ruined his jersey. He's, I, don't know, I don't know why he wanted me to sign it, but if it was – my shirt, I could ruin that for him, you know. Get posted. Terrible. Yeah. Whoever that kid is, get get posted to sign your jersey, man. Exactly. Call it a tray play, says El Jefe uh Dre Jr. Jason says, then why did they draft him? They think he can be special. Yeah. But that's yeah. a long project. I, I'm not ready. Said, I certainly wouldn't be ready to hit the alarm on, on that. I mean, 
Nah. Uh, Gabe Roaches says, heard Kareem Hunt asked for a trade anyway, and hell, Kareem holds out long enough to be uh, for the Browns to entertain a straight-up trade for Jimmy. No. Why would they want – I don't know that they'd be that interested. Their backs are good. <laughs> yeah. And I don't what, think so, man. I, I don't think so. What's Kareem Hunt's salary, too? Yeah. I don't, no, I don't think it's going to happen. No one's trading for Jimmy.